some extent you do have to give functional autonomy to your ministers. They should be able to pick, pick their staff. I mean, <clears throat> after all, they are senior ministers and you are in a Westminster system of governance. That's something he just wants to get rid of and start on a clean slate. That's why we are seeing a very aggressive Narendra Modi on this issue. There is no doubt that the PSs became, they were first called special assistants, then the name was changed to PS, that is personal uh, secretary, private secretary in a way. They became extremely powerful. They were able to wield not only authority, but also to play certain amount of, you might say, partisanship within the ministry, maybe put down the secretary's proposals. As a uh, personal staff of ministers, again, I mean, I'm not, uh, this is regarding educational uh, qualification and such, so on and so forth. You look at any of these things, you know, there has been relaxation in every one of those rules and every one of those rules has uh, had a, uh, you know, an appendix, so to speak, which tries to uh, put it in uh, place uh, that, you know, uh, the minister's personal secretary. I'm just saying, yes, you should have broad guidelines, undoubt, undoubtedly, so that there's, there is the fact that vested interests do develop. It, it has happened over the years, and because, like I said earlier, because they want to cozy up to the minister and all that, they kind of, it, 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 you know, suggest all kinds of shortcuts for them and to them. Ten years, you know, they perhaps didn't know that there is a process involved that they have to go through and which is why we saw that because if you talk about the people in question most of them they are very able officers and you know uh, they were hired because they were doing a job properly